Hello, I'm Shirley from Shirley's Divine Styling. Welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would talk about styling our plants um, in our homes and what I wanted to show you today was um, my little arrangement that I'm going to do for you here. I've bought these three lovely little nest of tables, they're all at different heights and the nice thing about them is you can move them around and make different shapes. So I thought what I'd do is I'd just put an arrangement together here to show you how I thought this could be done. So what I thought I'd do was I started with this nice big plant here, this um, Phalaenopsis, and um, I have another one here. I'm going to put that there, smaller one. And then I thought I would put my tread scantia. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to the camera for you to see her. She's beautiful. She's got lovely deep purple leaves and lovely green and, and purple leaves there. So I'm going to put her here um, on a little raised thing that I've got there, which I thought looked nice. And then I'm going to add another little something together. I thought maybe, maybe this one. This is um, a Dracaena. I was wondering at first whether she was a yucca, but she does seem to me to be a Dracaena. So I just thought I'd show you her. She looks nice. I've got her in a gold pot because a little bit of gold is quite nice with the whites. Um, and then I have <clears throat> a beautiful plant here, the umbrella plant, if any of you uh, recognize this one. That's what they always call them, the umbrella plant. She's a variegated version and um, she's going to get very tall. Um, right now she's sweet and dilly. Um, and then I thought maybe another pop of gold. And this is quite a nice stylish arrangement, if I say so myself. And I think you'd agree, that looks quite nice. And the nice thing is that the purples and the lilacs follow down diagonally. The uh, greens and yellows follow down diagonally. And um, there's a pop of gold in the centre. Everything has a little space around it. And it just looks quite nice, I thought. So this is one arrangement I thought I'd show you, how you could perhaps do something for yourself like this in your home, because we get so used to putting our plants all together on the windowsills, you know, and give them some water during the day and all that sort of that. But if you take the time to have a little think, you can actually do this sort of thing and it does look really effective and it's a change from having a lot of ornaments around, isn't it? Because, I mean, I, I was one for ornaments always, and now I'm trying to uh, freshen and give everything a, a new look with plants. And plant styling is really nice, and they're so beautiful. So now I will be back in a millisecond for you uh, with a different arrangement. Just a moment. And I'm back. That was very quick for you, for me. It was a bit of a rush. But anyway, I've made another arrangement here. I've got um, a beautiful um, shape here um, of a kind of, if you look at it, it's a little bit like a triangle. And um, you've got this lovely tall plant here, the peace lily. She's absolutely beautiful, <clears throat> lovely big glossy leaves and white flowers. And she's got some width. Um, and here I have um, a pothos. This is a chartreuse colour, um, but she is quite beautiful. Can you see that colour? She's a lovely, brilliant, palest of pale lime, almost a lemon to her. I put her in the gold pot there. 
Um, and here I have uh, the lemon lime Calthea. She is just divine. Um, she has lemon, lime going all through velvety, beautiful velvety leaves. And she spreads widthways and cascades. And I mean, she's just so beautiful. She's absolutely lovely. So I thought she would look nice here. She's a Calthea. And she would look nice there. And then, of course, we have Trade Scantia Nanook. And she, she's just a dream. Just look at the colour. She's um, lilac. If you've seen, well, I have got a video on her. I haven't put it out yet, but it's all about her. She's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to pop her here as a splash of colour and a little, little cascade down there like that perhaps this one might be better that way <laughs> anyway so there you can see another arrangement in just a few minutes how it can look and you can move them around you can put an ornament be between them if you wanted to i'm not actually looking for the ornament side of things at the moment but i think that that is quite nice and it's nice and clean fresh um, you've got the gold on either side to balance and you've got this big splash of green here and that lovely lovely cascade of, of lilacs in the center and both the lemons and the golds on either side because this plant itself looks kind of gold and this plant actually is quite beautiful it's a pothos and it will grow quite big and it will cascade down many many leaves will fall and it will be quite a beautiful plant when it grows up <laughs> because it's very small right now and so um as i was saying this one it's going to grow quite big and it will cascade all the way down these leaves will get quite big as well and they're quite strong plants um as long as you don't mistreat them they will go on and on for years um, so anyway, there was my idea of the styling. And you can see how the gold on either side balances the whole thing and the splash of colour in the centre. And, um, you know, when you go out of the room and then you come back in the room, it's so nice to have something that you've actually arranged in a way that is attractive rather than just putting your plants all together on the windowsill, you know, or on the sideboard or whatever it is. And... Um, I mean, I've done that myself, and especially if you've got quite a few plants, which now I am growing quite a few plants um, in my collection. Um, some of them, like the peace lily, I used to have before, many years ago. Um, brings back memories of perhaps even my first home. Um, and this is the thing that they, they do have. You have a rapport with your plants, don't you? You have memories of when you bought them, Memories of when you had them before and you tried to keep them and things went wrong. Um, but no, um, these are really hardy. They're really, really good plants. So I just hope that you've enjoyed those two arrangements that I've done. I'm going to do more videos like this where I can show arrangements with our plants and um, arrangements with our furniture in our homes as well. So I hope to see you again in another video. Bye for now. Bye.